Hey everybody, welcome to Knight's Gaming Experience. I am Knight, and this is Hey Check It Out. This is Kerbal Space Program, one of those games that I enjoy playing just on some free time. Um, this is also one of those games my kids love to run in and say, Hey look, Daddy crashed another spaceship. So, I thought I would do a Hey Check It Out for this video. Um, let's do a new game here. Just show you some quick basics of Kerbal's space program. Uh, let's go name the player me. You can pick a flag. Let's do rocket science because that's initially what we're doing is rocket science. Okay, you can play in three different modes sandbox, science, or career. Um, sandbox, you pretty much have everything unlocked. Science, um, you just need to do the science -y stuff and unlock new parts and career you do missions get money get the sciencey stuff unlock new parts launch more rockets so we're just gonna do a quick set easy so we have some starting funds and jump in let's see that name already exists so let's cancel and say number two there we go number two All right, so this is Kerbin, Kerbal, Kerbal Space Program. Um, this is your space center complex. Looks pretty barren right now, just because we're starting fresh from the beginning. Several different buildings here: um, an administration building, astronaut complex, the space hangar, the vehicle assembly building. Mission control is over there, <clears throat> and we have research development and your tracking station. So, space programs what we do is launch into space or attempt to, or in my children's case, blow stuff up. All right, so what we want to do is come over to here to mission control and grab some new missions, launch a vessel, launch a vessel and then reach a minimum alf altitude of 5,000 meters. Pretty basic, right? So, what we want to do is come over to this building here and construct our spaceship. So, start with our command module. I'm going to get uh, rockets. We have liquid fuel rocket booster. <clears throat> we have solid fuel rocket boosters. See structures, aeronautics, utilities. We want a space uh, parachute, a spaceship parachute. Sciencey stuff. Let's put an antenna so we can contact mission control. So what else do we got here? Ah, and this is our fuel tank. So we can do just for the quickness of this video I'm going to do a solid fuel booster I think that's is that gonna get me up to where I need to go I don't remember let's do liquid fuel instead so what we want to do in career mode is do our missions get our funding you check the bottom left corner of the screen is your funding how much you need to launch a spaceship, how much you have. Bottom right is the staging. The staging is the your uh, engines, your parachutes, anything you have, decouplers. <clears throat> um, so for now what we're going to do is just separate our parachute and our engine from different stages so they don't go off at the same time. Yep, been there, done that. Launched every single rocket at the same time, launched all my parachutes, everybody dies. Great fun. So, just for the kicks of it, we're going to name our ship Space One. Yes, pretty cheesy, I agree. Save our spaceship. And in this screen, you can change your flag. You can check on your crew members. Right now we have capacity for one crew member. We have Jedediah Kerman. He's 
the pilot. And when you get more stuff you get to add to your spaceship, you know, get your scientists, your engineers, and whatnot. So, um, let's go back to parts and let's launch this ship. So, I do like the 3D view um, in your space here in this hangar. The hangars, as you progress, you can level up your buildings. So, the hangars do get a little bit better looking and such. So, um, later on, let's see what we have in the way of money and we'll go around and look at some stuff real quick. So, let's just quickly launch a spaceship and get the main idea of Kerbal Space Program. So, um, launch a spaceship. You can, in fact, build satellites, you can build space stations, um, you can also do small scenarios, pre-made scenarios and such. So, what we're going to do now is just do a quick launch. So, as we're launching, what we want to do is look around the area just by right-click dragging the screen. Um, I mentioned some science-y stuff before, so with science, what you do is, we'll do a quick one real quick, we'll do a crew report as we're flying. <clears throat> this brings up the report, and it tells you how much science you get. Science you use for, um, basically, uh, researching new parts. This is what science is for. So with this, uh, we get seven science, and if we transmit it, we get 100% of that seven science. So we're just gonna quickly transmit it through our antenna and send it back. So quickly, and that was pretty quick, and we're done. You do have to have electricity to do that, so just be careful with your electricity. Um, right now, we're just kinda falling back to the planet here. So what you want to do with sciencey stuff as you progress is explore your planet. Um, you can take water samples, you can take soil samples, you can take samples of your runway, samples around your buildings, you can do crew reports from your runway, stuff like that it all adds up to how you get science. Um, so what we're gonna do is we've achieved our goals so we're gonna just quickly speed this up launch our parachute get our parachute going <clears throat> do be careful with parachutes sometimes they malfunction yes they do and if they get too near an engine they will blow up so let's get landed here I don't think we're gonna land very well we're gonna land directly on our engine we might keep our fuel Yep, we kept our fuel. So, now that we've landed, um, we're just going to quickly recover our vessel. And gives us our summary for our launch. So, we gained our 10 science. It goes into our science pool. Click next. Our parts and funding, what we saved in the way of funding and such. Um, Say so if we go lower down, we used all of our liquid fuel, so we don't have any funding there, and our oxidizer our engine blew up, so we don't have anything there, and Jediah gained one experience point, and then we also gained reputation too. So, what we do with science is we come to research and development, quickly enter that building, click on what you want to learn. So this one, your starting package, all your basic stuff. And then, going to click on basic rocketry, use a five science, and then it gives us our rocket tree. So what I like to do is, we can do stability, general rocket tree, and survivability. What I like to do is stability, and that way we can get the radial decouplers so the radio decouplers are the ones that are used when you see on TV with a normal rocket launch where as soon as they leave the platform they go up so high and they release the rocket boosters um, that's kind of what radio de radial decouplers do and I really like to use those it makes it so I can get bigger engines I'm going to go ahead and research that uh, in this screen you can also go through your science, ad science? achievements 
and archives. So with this, we click on Kerbin and it tells you what you've explored. Um, these bars here, the gray one, how it's not fully um, moved up to the top. Pretty much means that you did your science, but you could do it better. So you can do science for all the planets in your solar system. Let's go back to technologies. We're going to leave this building and we have some funding. Oops, that's not what I wanted. We have some funding. We want to just quickly right click on our building, do an upgrade. Let's notice the building gets bigger. We're going to go inside our building and our building walls have changed. So it's usually like that with a lot of the other buildings and stuff. Um, just a little fun to mess around with buildings. I do believe they their last patch made it so you have to upgrade the runway. Um, oops, that's not what I wanted. So upgrade the runway can actually hold bigger size and more weight of vessels. So now it's a paved over runway. Anyway, um, so that's pretty much Kerbal Space Program. So if you want, you can play, let's uh, warp up the time, you can do night missions. Mm, that just went really fast. See what we're on day four, 25 minutes now. There we go. So you can do some night mission, night missions. Um, what you do, what you want to do in night missions, usually is look to see where you want to launch your stuff. Um, <clears throat> it's a bit easier to point at planets. You can, what you want to do is get out in space. Pretty much, get out in space, try to land on the moon. Um, let's see if we can get this going a little slower, and then you can see the rotation of the planet. So, anyway, that is Kerbal Space Program. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just kind of a quick look around Kerbal. Um, this is, like I said, just one of those games I like to sit back and play. Um, it gets frustrating at times, but it makes it challenging trying to figure out how to do all the missions and stuff. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you do like it, please give me a like. If you could, please subscribe to the channel if you like more content. So, I hope everybody enjoyed. Have a great day.